The fourth hole of Ireland's Old Head Golf Links was the final destination of one man's epic journey. Just over a year ago, Nick Edmund, who spent 15 years running Nick Faldo's course design business, set out on his ambitious bid to walk 2,000 kilometres from the north of Ireland to the south for a noble cause, Global Golf for Cancer. The walk is really to launch a global campaign to have golf clubs flying flags on their fourth hole, cancer awareness flags on their fourth hole on certain days of the year, typically the fourth of the month and on special occasions. I wanted to launch it in, in a bit of style with a bit of impact. And I started coming over to Ireland and I saw a lot of signs for the Wild Atlantic Way and of course I realised from my golf career that there are a lot of great courses in the west of Ireland all along the Wild Atlantic Way. And I thought, how about if we got all of those golf clubs flying the flag on their fourth hole? I don't suppose I had to walk it, but I thought it would make a bigger impact if I walked the, uh, yep, 2,000 kilometres. I had the idea before I had cancer. I mean, that's just one of those ironies of life, I suppose. It's one of the best examples I've seen of determination and conquering adversity, basically. But his character shone through above everything else, and the ability to overcome so much physical challenge is, I think, one of the great inspiring things I've seen in my life. I got to know Nick some years back, and uh, he's an extraordinary man who, con who contacted the cancer disease like a lot of people, and uh, he decided that he'd, he wouldn't lay down to it, and he'd use his background and his love of golf to raise some funds for the charity. He set out in his odyssey early last year, and halfway through it, he had a setback. He was told that he had another cancer problem, and it would have definitely have stopped most people on their tracks, but not Nick. I got cancer for the second time. So this time it was, the first time it was cancer in my neck. The second time it was, uh, Cancer, cancer on my scalp and I needed to have a new scalp. Nine and a half hour operation and a uh, nine days in hospital. That was last November. I was always determined to finish the walk and as I said, there is an old saying, isn't there? Isn't it? But that so uh, if it doesn't, uh, what doesn't break you makes you and uh, well, in, in my experience, it, it certainly motivated me to make sure I finish this walk. And so to be standing on the, on the green at, at the, final, uh, the final hole is, is a very special moment. And, uh, you know, I, I just hope that uh, this unlikely story of a 57-year-old who's had cancer twice, who's uh, got the odd dodgy hip and uh, a few other ailments, but the fact that you can walk 2,000 kilometers and, and help raise awareness for cancer. It's amazing what you can do and, and it's amazing what the, if you like, the human spirit can do. The walk today was, was, well, obviously it was emotional. I mean, this was completing a 2,000 kilometer walk and it was special, of course, walking with my family. There was a big group of people, friends, some friends had come from across, you know, in America and uh, a number of friends from Ireland. It was, it was emotional. It was a tough walk though. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't the longest walk, but it was a difficult walk. My body was telling me this was the last day of walking, so uh, I'm glad I made it. Having walked 2,000 kilometres and played the fourth hole at 39 different courses, Nick's journey came to an end at Old Head, which, when you can see the views, boasts one of the most spectacular fourth holes in the world. And nothing was going to stop Nick from playing it. This is the first walk, hopefully the longest walk, but the uh, second walk will be in Scotland, and, and uh, the fourth walk I'm planning on doing the Camino in Spain. Um, as a lot of golfers will know, Seve Ballesteros, who was a great hero of mine, unfortunately died of brain cancer. And, and the idea of walking the Camino in, in Spain and playing the fourth hole at Padrina, which is where Seve started his golf, that will be a big story. And it's about creating big stories to increase the awareness. And so the walks are important to raise the, the profile of the campaign and, 
to draw attention to what we're trying to do, which as I say, is, is get the golfing community to support cancer charities and cancer initiatives around the world.